Hello. We're going picking. It's Christmas. It's, it's, it's not season. Christmas. It's just really cold. And we're doing what we call the villages. Um, which would make sense to no one but us. But they're like all the little villages around the towns in Somerset. And they're normally quite good, right? Yeah. So we they shall are. see. <laughs> I don't know to say that. We shall see. So first up on the adventure that is, is this shop. What is this? A Dorothy or a Margaret? It's a Margaret. It's a Margaret. <laughs> there's, a, there's Dorothy there's houses a, and there's Margaret houses. There's a lot of lady names going on here. Yeah, I, I like them. I, it makes me feel welcomed. Welcomed? Yeah, if you if it was like, I don't know, uh, I was going to say like bad names, but then if you say bad names and it's someone's name, yeah, that's like, bad. No, don't say it. Don't okay, say it. Because say someone it. will say that's my name. Yeah, that's my point. I can't do it. No. Anyway, Margaret and Dorothy is very nice. Here are some men's shoes. We've been picking up loads of... Um, we're particularly into churches at the moment. We're dropping off the loat game. The prices have plummeted. Yeah, they have, and haven't they? Although we are big advocators of getting the prices back up, we can't do it single-handedly. And sometimes we just got to move to the churches. They also, I think, the charity shops in general. Once again, everyone says that I know, but like I think they're more aware of loats price-wise. Yes. Uh, unless, unless, like the, the odd pair of boots or shoes I see with it, like it's almost the branding's almost like gone, mm -hmm. so you can just about see it. Those are my favourites. And they don't know and they don't know what they are? The sneaky ones. Yeah, sneaky ones. I thought this was really cool, just saying. Somerset County Cricket Club. Fair enough, that's yeah. That's what it's for. Uh, that's old as well. That was yeah, cool, wasn't it? That's cool. We probably actually work again. Yeah, there's probably a collector's market for vintage. It's probably cricket. worth ten thousand pounds, Bethany. Thank you for that. And that's I've left no it. That's no problem. That's no problem, Austin. This one used to be really good. It's in a smaller town. Um when I say smaller, it's like, it's tiny. I can't even describe it in size. Like maybe your local Sainsbury's. It's what, small. Like it's tiny. Yeah, it's tiny. Like, it's, yeah, it's, like, it's like small, small. I've been in Sainsbury's. It's bigger than the village, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. So this is an obvious jacket. I thought it was really, really nice. 1750, a tad steep uh, if you're asking me. But who does ask me, let's be honest. Um, it was really cool though. It just had a nice leather edge and nice leather details. Um... I don't know. What, what would you say? Recently? I would say you would want to look out in that brand in Orvis. You want to look out for the fishing stuff, the nautical yeah. stuff, the more active. Like, I would say tackle outing. jackets, but you know yeah. what I mean? Like that kind of thing. Is, yeah. that, is that a word? Pocket jackets. Pocket, yeah. Um, tell me you're in Somerset about telling me in Somerset this is a John Deere coat. Um, the Commonwealth picker would be proud of us. 1950. Um, Not a bad price if you want it for yourself, but once again, like it, it's like for a tractor jacket. Do you know what? It's so funny because we're in the country, you see so many like tractor stuffs. Yeah. That it's that's, sort of like. like yeah, mm. I, I, everything from like barber to like literally John Deere. Like, no, we I was see a lot about of it. physical tractor merchandise, like Ford, like Hen, like Massey, Massey Ford. Is that one like, Ford Massey? I, I don't know. Yeah, but you like know. you mean you mean physical? You mean physical? Like John Deere is a tractor, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a tractor brand. And These then, like, are hats. Agricultural. Um, These Austin, are really nice hats. Austin ran upon me because I am keen on a hat. As many people will know, I'm a hat enthusiast. And, and this was, one day you weren't wearing a hat, actually. I know. So, found them. They're £179 for asking price. Akruba? Ak Akbar? Yeah, they're an Australian brand made in Perth. I was going to do my own version of Australian accent then, but I'm not going to. That's I'm not okay. going. To, I'm not going. To, I'm not going to do it. We ha they had two in this shop, and you know they were nicely formed. It was too small for me, as you see there. I'm testing with the rocking motion. Um, <laughs> but this one, the flat, the flatter one was sixty five, and the one that's in, the nice lady was complimenting me, and the one that's on my head is seventy five, and I think considering the retail is one hundred and seventy five, I guess you're getting a hundred pounds off. But and they were nice, but they were they were like f f like. Crazy new, were they? I mean, the inside no. looks really good there, or, but the outside was quite like. Or a crazy good make, either. No, I mean, that's a good make. Like, uh, listen, that's an expensive hat for anyone. I like, get. Yeah, well, what you're saying is some hats go for like three, four, five I mean, these a are grand, worn. you know? Yeah, these are yeah worn. they are. And the problem is they're made with like a felted wool. And as a hat connoisseur, um, I you can also, see it, can you, on the brim? Yeah, Sorry. I also know that dust embeds. Yeah, I don't, And I, you cannot get it out to save your life. If anyone's got any tips on getting dust out of hats, like honestly, it it uh, it, uh, it, it just exacerbates stupid, but, me. Like yeah. to, to 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 explain how hard that is. We're in boot season. Check the undersoles of boots. We me never just, do it. We're really bad at, at it. Um, but this kind of year, this kind of year, this kind of season. It's been a long t long day today. It's been it, such a long day, and and then we committed to this Vlogtober thing. And you know what? Uh, it's it's bad. Vlog, it's Vlogtember. It's not even Vlogtober. Have I been saying Vlogtober all this time? I don't know. Anyway, this is a gap. Jacket. Vlogmas, you've been saying. Vlog this, this, Vlogmas. This this is a um a recycled uh, gap uh, jacket. The reason I picked this up, and the reason I wanted to show you peeps at home with this. 
I thought that was a really cool hood, actually. The hood is kind of like double quilted in the edge, if you can see there. Um, uh, Kanye West did a uh, collaboration with... Um, uh, well, Yeezy did a collaboration with Gap. Let's not talk about Yeezy at the moment. But um, it was very, very popular. And the coats were exactly like this. They were perfect. They were oversized. And they were kind of bright, kind of like semi-shiny colours. Mm -hmm. So I just thought that was very kind of of that vibe. This is a Garb Store. Garb Store is a store in London where they make a very high-end um, clothing. You'll see this is like a herringbone chevron tweed. It's got all like what I call the outdoorsy stuff. So the drawstrings and the things. But they use sort of like an old school looking label. Um, I'm going to put up a listing from their current website. So you're looking at about 450 for a non-collab. This is their new label. This is their old label. So be aware of both because they do quite good money. Um, this one's on bids. There wasn't many soul comps. I'm not going to lie to you, but you make those soul comps. You go out there and you get your comps, people. Comp it up. This is a khakis and jumper with buses on. It was very bobbly. It could have been debobbled, but it was kind of like, you know when there's debobbly and they like there's bobbled, but you could debobble and there's one which you like it's just a beaten old jumper yeah i think i'm not being br brutal but it's true anyway but kafka's and is good still if you find the sort of collab pieces the right pieces Disney and yeah. stuff like that and also um anything that's sort of like nostalgic i don't know people might feel nostalgic to buses speaking of nostalgia bethany I hate these hats with a passion you can only believe. So this is, this is a child's version. It's from Children's World. If anyone remembered that, Children's World, please put in the comments. Like, I, Children's World was like the one. Um, anyway, it was a, uh, this, this hat reminds me very much of uh, Brian from E17 back in the day before he went mental. Um, like, uh, I think it was all right, the video. I was quite the fan, if you will. We'll put a picture up here to show you what I mean. I'm not putting up a picture of Brian. We'll put in a picture. I'm not putting, I'm putting a picture. Oh, God. It's there. Look, there it is. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. This is this one is quite good actually. It's a PS. It's a RSPCA. Why are you bothering? I, I like in general. Why are you bothering? Know. Because RSPCAs aren't normally very good, and yeah. this one was very good today. This is why I'm you're saying. such a judge. I judge hard because I do find there's a common theme between like how a charity shop yeah. is going to be. <laughs> yeah, like, I, 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 we all know that British Heart Foundation are like, like bankrupting. Ex yeah, yeah, extortionate. Mm, yeah. Anyway, back to the men's shoes. The place where Austin likes to be with his hat. Yep. Um, these are Giovanni Versace. Giovanni, Wowza. Giovanni Versace, for anyone who doesn't know, is that man. He founded Versace and now... He his, was that man. His sister, Donatella. I wasn't going to take a, like, grim slant on it, but, you know... He's dead. You took it there. Sorry. You're looking for this label. Don't be afraid of this label. This label's the best label from Versace. Um, they call it vintage or vintage for the normal people out there. Uh, this has got the Medusa's heads on. It's also Python. That is real Python edged. They were £30. They're worth about... 150. Versace, Versace, Versace. Um, I find the lady stuff goes a little <laughs> bit better, unless you're looking at the silk shirts. Always just buy the silk shirts. Speaking of lady stuff. This is toast. This is a dress. This isn't very toasty toast, and I wouldn't traditionally pick up or pay £6.50 for this kind of toasty toast. Then why did you? Well, I was breaking the ice on the day. Okay. Breaking the ice on the day. This is a dreamer. Talk this, to me. This is Morgan de Toy. Yeah, that's how you say it. Yep. Um, and this was like a Y2K 90s brand that people really loved. And it's coming back and people love it. Now, toast. But when the, these are proper toast, this is toast toast. You see the, how the how the OAS is highlighted. It stands for Ordinary Attire Studio, which is basically workwear, utility wear. They use heavyweight denims, cottons and linens, um, and they use very contemporary shapes. This is the stuff from this brand that you want to pick up without fail. The aprons, the dresses, the pinafores, the jackets, the overcoats, the trousers. The label is toast without the two Ts, which looks like oast. Yes, oh, oast. but it stands for Ordinary oast. Attire Studio. Beautifully said, Bethany. Good morning. Austin is driving the automobile to our destination. I am holding a said camera, hence the wiggling. Hello. Say hello, Austin. Um, we are doing the villages today, which would make sense to no one but us. But regardless, I still say it. And they are the villages around Yeovil. If anyone is familiar with Yeovil, it is a larger town in Somerset. And we do... I used to live in one of the like small 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 villages which has a charity shop so i know they have a charity shop and now they have two charity shops so we sort of start there and then do all the villages out and if you know somerset or if you don't know somerset or if you use google you'll know that some some of most of the villages around somerset are quite affluent yeah 
there's a lot of larger houses and a lot of sort of older houses it's and out, out the way stuff, yeah. but there's also a lot of farms and things like that but it is normally quite good for getting like toast and um brands like that like sea salt like sort of utility high street brands yep. is normally quite and then every now and then you get a really good thing so i think the one we're heading to now we've just done one and the one we're heading to now yep. um we found a gucci satchel in like the reduced bin for a fiver once um so you get that sort of thing um and they're very small there's like one in each town sort of thing yep and um it's a lot of traveling i have to say that i think i think we forget actually how much traveling we do like in between like the towns like it, it's probably only to maybe i don't know five ten miles between each but if you think we do that three or four times today it's a lot of getting, that's in, 40 getting miles out in between them yeah, you and then get, we drive probably 40 minutes home you get a bit bored by like 4 p.m of actually just opening a car door yeah um and you don't even drive well you do drive but you don't drive you don't drive, drive like now. Yeah. you just, do drive you're not driving this car and today and a vehicle today i like to be chauffeured yeah, so. I would rather you in the back actually. But well, then I would be backseat driving. What do you do with a What do you do with a dog barking on the back seat? Don't know. Put it on the front. That's just stupid. Anyway, so now we hit Martok for anyone local, um, and we'll see what they have. There's only one here, and then there's two. There's technically two. The second one is a proper OG, where like things like twenty pence, um, but it's barely ever open. Um, so we won't hold our breath for that one. If not, there's one. Then we go to Stokes of Hamden, which has one, uh, which used to be better than it is now. And then we might do Ilminster or Crookham, which are slightly bigger places that have slightly more. Or a hit and missy. Ilminster has always been really good. However, since um, they now have a, um, a Templey store. That's Alice Templey. Um, and they also have a cool coffee shop as well, which the store is lovely itself. But I feel like because it's brought more, um, a lot more kind of that kind of vibe of person, the charity shops. I just feel like they're they're worse since they're that's dry. Kind of, but yeah, because they're I guess dry. people pick. Maybe that's just like a re a reseller thing in our own minds. But I, what do you think? I think it has. Yeah, I I agree. Either way, we still check them out. And we still gotta we gotta go in and out of all of them like everyone does because. Either why not? way, we are coming up to the time of year which they call December, which some people also call. Christmas? Vlogmas. Ah. It's open. It's open, it's um, open. Some Sorry. people call Vlogmas and um, I'm not committing to anything because I, you know, have We're things terrible. to We're do. Um, but maybe, just maybe, for a Christmas miracle, you'll get one more video. than one video a week. <laughs> maybe, one more, like that would be a Christmas miracle. Yeah. Uh, like a lot of people are saying they're going to do a video a day. Fair play to them, like 100% respect we will try and do as many as we can but saying i'm gonna do it one every day i would be lying to your faces guys lying to your faces so that's i us. don't mind that but i'd rather not doing it you know what i mean yeah we're gonna try this sort of more talky style video so um that you um see us in okay. terms of the fact that we sometimes just release videos where you don't even see our face and then you don't know if it's a real person making the video i feel like sometimes we could just record our voice and just be robots that'd be fun be easier. Is that a space you need to get in that space? I can't. There's a big truck there, like, and he's reversing. Over and out. That's the lorry that Austin just made a huge deal about. I think he could have just whipped around it, but uh, yeah. some people. We wanna... were coming the other way, just to clarify. And Bethany has no sense when it comes to driving, so that's really rude, Austin. And true, untrue. also, Bethany. It's true, not also. True. There's a really good bakery here. I can recommend. Those um, guys enjoyed it for sure. I had a scone. It was very nice. I didn't. But let's move on. Um. So this is. Oh, we're back at Margaret. You love a Maggie, don't you? Maggie? Margaret, Margaret is Maggie fan. I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't think everyone associates with that name change. No. Anyway, always check the rail outside, even though you probably don't want to be seen going through the rail outside. Or get Austin to, che oh, get Austin to check the rail outside, and whilst you just swan around in the shop nice and warm. This is a sea salt. £3.50 is pleated. It is blue. Just it, checking the fluff there. <laughs> it has a bit of a mustard... Uh, check for it um and it's a midi length um it is 100 cotton it's lined it's fabulous i love buying sea salt 
I don't mind admitting it. It doesn't sell for groundbreaking money, but it sells fast and then people and people love it and it's great. I love it. At the moment, I've got to say, like anything we pick up sea salt, which we do pick bits and pieces up, I know, um, is selling fast. Like I would say, like you just said, hot cakes. So I found this. This is Spirit of the Andes. Spirit of the Andes reminds me a little bit of Peruvian Collection. For anyone who doesn't know, Peruvian Connection. Um, and it is made in Peru, which obviously Peruvian Connection. This is 100% baby alpaca. Oh, the poor baby. And then I found the matching midi skirt. I don't want to excite anyone. I mean, I am excited for myself. You were excited there. That is an excited face. Yes. So one was uh, £4.50. The other one was £6.50. But, you know, I thought someone might want to buy these and wear them together and just be a straight up great person. Hot dog. Then we were at the till and something happened. Something extraordinary happened. Do you want this one as well? Yes, please. Oh, she's 6.50. Oh, where did oh, that come from? It's a freeze. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I please. do. <laughs> yes, you would be correct. That is the greatest woman that's ever lived. I did, what a doll face. I did quite literally steal the thing from her hands because she put it back to try on and now I was taking it home. Do you know what disturbs me most is that she was aware there were other, two other pieces yet she kept the, was it was it the, the cardigan, cardi. the sweater vest? Well, I think she fancied a little cardi. Like, I'm you not know, knocking, I'm just saying, like, do the whole fit. Throw over her shoulders. I'm pretty sure she got a discount. If she would have got a discount, she'd get the whole fit on. Anyway, pay £6.50 for that as well. Now, I have listed each piece individually for between £50 and £60. That m means it would be giving me a return of £160 from an investment of... Just under fifteen pounds because I can't do the maths. That's good. Well done, Bethany. That's us from us. Day That's one. us from us. Day one complete. See you tomorrow. Vlogmas day two coming soon. Please never say Vlogmas ever again. What can I say? We had this conversation earlier. Um, upload member. Member. Upmo upload. Toba. No. Up. Upload. Oh, let's leave it there. Upload must. Upload must. <laughs>